blow up those delts with this fast, quick hitter workout. All right, guys and girls, here we are at Elite. If you watch this chest video, you'll see what we did before this. So, you know, I always pair chest and shoulders. I know you've also seen me talk about in both these back and chest videos that I just posted these past two weeks that I'm trying to reduce the volume. Now, one of the few body parts that this won't hold true for is my shoulders because for me, shoulders always grow with volume sets and just massive pumps. So I won't be able to hold that same true minimalist approach because that never worked for me. So a minimalist approach to shoulders may be one set of one or let's say two sets of bent over laterals and two sets of side laterals and that will be it. But for me, like I would walk out of here feeling very unsatisfied. The pump would be mediocre and if I had to bet my shoulders would probably regress a bit. So I do not want that. So what I'm doing here is I pay back the volume a good bit, but I still have enough to where I'm getting a full-blown pump, as you'll see in this video. So let's get into this, and I'll talk you up through why I did and what I chose what I did. All right, exercise number one in rotation is going to be a bent over rear lateral. I did three sets. Chance filmed the third. So three sets here. I'm trying to get 25 reps with the 20. So I'm trying to do three sets of that. So you're seeing my last one. And what I'm thinking about here, guys, is just fully exhaust that rear delt. Really pay close attention to how I'm turtle shelling my upper back. I'm not getting trapped and back into it. It is literally all on my rear delts. As I finished with that, I set those down, grabbed the band, and I'm just ripping these apart until I can't spread my hands anymore. Three sets of this rotation felt incredible. All right, next up, staying on that rear delt, I'm gonna go over to the reverse peg deck, and I'm just doing sets of 20 here. I think I actually got 18 or 19 with my third set that Chaz filmed, but I did three sets here. Again, trying to just make my rear delt absolutely enormous. I just, I love the way that looks, and I know that that is something that separates me on a bodybuilding stage from others. So I want to lean into that rear delt and really make sure that it continues to progress. stand up, grab that band again, and it's more pull-aparts. So these just feel incredible to me. And since I am having a little bit of recovery from a shoulder injury, I want to ensure that everything within that shoulder capsule is healthy. And with me, when I do pull-aparts, when I do over and backs or spider crawls, which you'll see later, it just makes me feel really safe. Up next is gonna be a side lateral machine. And I didn't do pull-aparts with that. It was just a drop set. So with the side lateral machine, no supersets. I do two sets of 20. And that felt great. And then I told Chad, I was like, I want a triple drop on this. So I was up to 100 pounds. Do as many reps as you can, plus a couple partials. Then I simply just walk around the machine, drop it 30 pounds, which was the 70. Do as many as I can and a couple partials. Walk back around the stack, put it on 60. And do as many as I can, partials and the 10 second ISO hold. So I didn't do very much side delt work today. So I really wanted to milk this machine because it just honestly felt great. And my pump kept growing with each step. Last thing to finish here, guys, is gonna be this tricep. So with that, I started with 10 pull-aparts. And if you notice this form, after the first view of getting warm, what I wanted to think about doing here was spread it apart, contract the rear delt, and then really crank and drive with the rear delt. So it's almost like a double rep. So I got the halfway, contract, get the all the way fully contract. And this just feels great. So I did that until I couldn't do it anymore.
then I go grab the 20 pound dumbbells and my goal is to get 15, kind of a rhythmic pumping sensation here. If you look with <laughs> each rep, I feel like my side delts just got fuller and fuller. Once I hit 15, I rack those. short band from Elite FTS, wrapped it on my wrist, walked over to the doorway, and I did three passes of spider crawl. So this is great for shoulder health, and this is a great way also to finish off with a mega pump. I did one round of, that's all I needed, and when I finished this session, like my whole upper body was pumped. Like To me, one of the days that I look forward to the most is chest and shoulders, and that's because I connect to it, I can get a great pump, and it just feels great. I walk out of here feeling like I'm 20, 30 pounds heavier. So if you don't pay your chest and shoulders, I really challenge you to give it a shot. Try it because it feels great. So not only does your shoulders feel safer because you're fully warmed up from all the chest work, but you don't need to waste a ton of time doing shoulder pressing because you get all the pressing from chest to hit the front delt, and then you literally can just focus and zero in on side and rear delt. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, see you on the TV.